Hi guys, I wanted to do this video so that I could show some of my pickups. I get pickups from work, I get pickups from thrift stores, and all sorts of things. And this week, I got quite a good bundle for pr quite a good price from work. Now, I work at an electronic recycling plant, and uh, we sometimes have events. And at this event, I was lucky to come across some guy who was getting rid of a lot of different electronic game devices. Not so much games, but a lot of unique little things that I don't normally find, or at least in a bundle. And so I knew I had to get it as soon as I saw this controller. Now, anyone on Twitter who, who was following me knows what this is to. When I first saw this, I knew it was to something good. I've seen this controller before. I didn't remember what, but I'm saving what this is to for last. But anyone who knows, this was what really made this thing fucking awesome. But, okay, let's start off with some of the controllers, some of the stuff that, a little smaller stuff, and then build our way up to the bigger and bigger stuff. So, first, we've got the Nintendo Zapper. I never had the orange one, I had the original. Uh, my sister currently has the older version, and uh, so now I have my own. I, I need to get Duck Hunt again. <laughs> um, but along with that, I got um, a couple of the older um, controllers, the regular controllers, and then I got the uh, Zipper Beehive, which I forgot who um, showed this on RetroWare, but I know it's a good controller. I, I've heard good things. It's got the, um, what I think those are the turbo controls. Yeah, so awesome on that front. And then we've got a few things got the Sega Genesis. Um, I have the Sega Genesis Model 2. This was my first Sega Genesis, but I, uh, I pawned it off at some game shop. But I, I just love the design. It's nostalgia because I, I was growing up with this, so I had to get it again, especially for the price. And I'll get to the price at the end of everything in this bundle. So it was very much worth it to get this. Uh, with this controller, it came with uh, two of the six-button controllers with the uh, mode button. Um, I think they came out with this for the fighters, so um, st um, Street Fighter 2, uh, Mortal Kombat, stuff like that. So, nice to have a few more of these. I, I think I have one or two in uh, one of my storage units. Now, moving on to the PlayStation stuff. I don't normally see this very often, so it was a nice surprise to see the PlayStation Multitap. I don't know what games go to it, but that's something I'm going to have to research. But it's a nice find to find one of these. Um, I have no idea how much these cost. But what is pretty interesting is that I found a... Um, toy for the PlayStation 2. Now, I don't know exactly what games there were. I knew there was a lot of uh, stuff floating in the, the air and you'd like attack them with karate chops, like ninja stuff. And it was the very early form of this um, connect uh, PlayStation Move type of thing. So it's nice to have one of these. I might start having to look for some of the PlayStation Eye games because, well, what was the point of buying any PlayStation uh, 2 games if I didn't have this? And it was nice to find one of these. Um, also, for the PlayStation 2, I've got a Nerf controller. I do not have the, uh, the part that inserts into it since it's a wireless. But what's interesting about this is it's very malleable. Um, you could uh, just squeeze it and... It does nothing. The only hard parts are where the controls are, obviously. And it's just very spongy, very nerf. So if you're throwing it, I guess, that, that's one of the pluses. If you get angry and throw it, you're not going to have a broken controller if it hits right, I guess. 
And then another thing that I have for the PlayStation 1 is a Grip V. I've seen these around online. I never really thought anything about getting one of these, but since it was in the bundle, why not? Um, I guess it's really supposed to be played with one hand or uh, very bunched together like this. Um, but it'll be nice to try it out. I haven't really even thought about what games I'm going to even try on this, but it'll be a nice experiment. Now, I had um, a Tamagotchi uh, frog. It was like a, a green Tamagotchi, and I found it on the ground somewhere and was working for the longest time. And this was in elementary. Well, what I have here is a Pokemon Pikachu... Tamagotchi unit. It, the battery's obviously dead, but it's it's just kind of a, a little bit of nostalgia that I have the Pokemon Pikachu little Tamagotchi. So it'll be interesting if, if I get the battery and uh, try it out, but awesome. And then, um, because you can never have too many of these, I've got another, because I'm forgetting how many I have now, of the uh, Dreamcast VMUs. Especially when some of these games take up quite a bit of space. So it's it's very nice to have an extra one of these. Especially if the uh, the battery works. No. Oh well. Now, um, at the last minute of this event, uh, we were packing up. We were getting stuff ready so that when we had to go, we could get right out of there and back to our warehouse. But right at the end, there was a couple who had a lot of gaming stuff, a lot of like Guitar Hero controllers, um, GameCube, GameCube controllers, stuff like that. I already had enough GameCube controllers, and um, so I didn't really need that. But what they did have was a few games. And GameCube games are like a godsend. It's stuff that I dream of to be at work, to be in a bundle, because... People who like GameCube games usually hold on to GameCube games. And so um, I've got about seven cases, uh, but there was one that didn't have a game in it. So I have the case, but I don't know. But all right, let's start off. Tetris Plus, I guess it's just Tetris, but plusier. I don't know, uh, for the PlayStation 1. Mario Super um, Superstar Baseball. I heard it's good. I've seen it in action, but I've never played it for my own. So it'll be nice to try it out. Mario Party 6. I heard it really went downhill. I don't know exactly where, but everybody loves the N64 games. And then it starts going way downhill in the Wii category. But... Um, now, Metal Gear Solid 2, I already own, but I don't have the case or the manual, so it's nice to have something complete. So, awesome. Uh, Mario Kart Double Dash. I played it with friends so many hours, I had so much fun, but it's always a rental or somebody coming over or something like that. And I haven't played it for the longest time, so it'll be great to try this thing out. Alright, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. I have it in my room, but it's not mine, and I've had it for years. So I can finally return that copy and have this posted as my own. <laughs> yeah, sorry John, but now you can have it back. Now, this is the game that I absolutely wished they had in the case Twilight Princess because I, I heard that the controls are a lot better in the GameCube because it's not forcing the the Wii motion um, motions so oh well at least I have the case in case I find it loose I guess but whatever and then finally uh, Batin Ka uh, Katos it's um, a RPG card battle system. I'm a little wary of card battle systems ever since uh, Kingdom Hearts 
something for the uh, Game Boy Advance. But I'm open. I'm open to see how it is, especially since I think I've heard good things about it before. All right. Now we get to the final thing. The thing that ever since I saw this, I knew something good was here. And that is the PC Engine Duo with Super CD ROM 2. Now, this is just freaking awesome. Because one, that because it says PC Engine, I believe that means that this is the Japanese version of the console. Uh, the Japanese version of the Turbo Graphics, uh, Turbo Graphics Duo. Which means that the CD-ROM can play both American and Japanese CDs, and the Hue card reader will only read Japanese games. While that may be a little uh to some, I'm kind of fortunate that, like, last year I found a TurboGrafx-16, just the console, no cables whatsoever, so if I ever want to play American Hue cards, I'll just have to buy a controller and make sure that I have the proper um, attachments. But that means that I'm good. I'm golden. And I'm just like absolutely freaking thrilled because when I checked this out after I bought it, the prices are insane. I think the original pricing for the console when it first came out was two to three hundred dollars. And the pricing, the lowest pricing I saw was 175. And then higher than that, it goes 200, 300, and like the highest I even saw as a bundle kind of thing, 500 and something dollars. So freaking awesome deal that I got this. So with everything in a box, it all came out to my my manager looking at the box and him saying, okay, so what I'm seeing here is a hundred bucks or you can give me your best offer. And immediately I was like, okay, I didn't know exactly what kind of price range what I wanted, but I knew I wanted it cheap, especially since that console I knew I wouldn't find anywhere else or at least for a good price. So I said, um, how about 85? And he said, as we were walking to the office, he said, you know what, I'll give it to you for 80 because it's a nice round number and because you said it was a good price. So immediately inside, I'm just like, I'm smiling, I'm happy. As soon as I'm like, okay, pay the man the money, be happy when you get it home. And when I finally got to plug this in to see if it worked because I don't have any games for it, no games were in the box, and it had that PC Engine uh, loading screen with um, update for update 3.0. Um, I, I knew, awesome. What I didn't know, I, I was kind of hoping, because the um, Sega Master System has a few games preloaded on the console, I was kind of hoping that pressing the, the run button on the controller would actually start up some game. Fortunately, no. But I know that I, I need to find these games. I need to find some good games for a good price. I've been looking on, I was looking online all day yesterday after work, looking for good bundles, looking for Japanese games because I heard those ones are uh, relatively cheap in comparison to Americans, uh, American versions and stuff. So it was very much a mix of figuring out uh, the Hue cards, uh, the American and the Japanese uh, CD-ROMs, and just figuring out what's good, what's what's terrible, what 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 is good for the money. Um, I am getting a game in. I, I I knew I had to get at least one good game for a good price, and I'm I'm forgetting the name. It was like Sun Sun Two, and I think it's where you're a monkey with uh, one of those pole arms. I'll, I'll I'll post a pic over the screen to show you uh, show it off. But essentially, in a few more weeks, I'll get that 
and I'll be happy to actually be able to do something with this console because as I stated, I have not had anything to do with this console. This has been in the corner collecting dust while I wait for um, an opportunity to find games, find anything for it. So it's a great opportunity to find the controller, the thing, all the cards I needed, and I'm, I'm happy. So essentially what these videos are for is one, show off all the stuff I get from uh, my work, from uh, thrift stores, from whatever, and then also it's a way for me to get more on the camera, get uh, more, of a, uh, more of a presence besides just a voiceover, a edited, scripted voiceover. And um, yeah, so if you like this video and you want to see more, please uh, check the annotations uh, for more videos or check the channel. If you want to get in contact with me, you can contact me on YouTube or Twitter. And please, have a nice day.